Lesson 1.11, Combine Place Values to Subtract. So far we've learned how to subtract by using estimation, compatible numbers, mental math, making the subtrend friendlier, and place value. Another strategy is to combine place values. When we combine place values, we subtract from two place values combined. If we have 17 minus 16, we just think 17 ones minus 16 ones. It's just a 1. When we have 542 minus 139, we see that the 2 is smaller. It's less than the 9. So we think 42 ones minus 39 ones. The difference between 49, 42 and 39 is a 3. It's three ones. And we wouldn't have any tens, so we put a zero there. Then we subtract the hundreds. 500 minus 100 is 400. For this one, 507 minus 55, we can do 7 minus 5 and get a 2, subtracting the ones. Then we see that 0 is less than 5. We can combine this place value as a 50 and think 50 tens minus 5 tens is 45 tens. Tala collected 431 cans for recycling. Lisa collected 227 fewer cans than Tala. How many cans did Lisa collect? Well, the first thing we do is we look for the important information. 431 and 227 are important. We circle the important information to make sure we know they're there. The 227 fewer is a clue to find a difference. So we need to find the difference between 431 and 227. And the difference is an answer and a subtraction problem, so we know we need to subtract. We have 431 minus 227. We can round to the nearest hundreds place the 3 tells the 4 to stay the same, then everything, the 3 and the 1, everything to the right becomes 0, so that rounds to 400 to the nearest hundreds place. 227, this 2 tells the 2 and the hundreds place to stay the same, and then it and the 7 become zeros, so that rounds to 200, and 400 minus 200 is equal to 200 for our estimate. Now, we have 431 minus 227, and we know our answer should be around 200 to be reasonable. We see that the 1 is less than the 7, so we think, oh, we can use combined place values. We'll think of it as 31 ones and 27 ones. 31 ones minus 27 ones would be 4 ones, and we don't have any tens. So we put a 0 in the tens place and a 4 in the ones place. We do 400 minus 200 is 200. And we see that our answer is very close to the estimate, so it's reasonable. So Lisa collected 204 cans. It's very close to the estimate. We make sure we label our answer as cans so that we know 204 what? 204 cans. We can subtract 518 minus 482 by using the strategy combined place values. We see that the 8 is greater than the 2, so we just subtract the 1s. We get a 6. Then we see that this 110 is less than the 810 in the subtrahend. So we think 51 tens minus 48 tens. We can easily count up 48, 49, 50, 51. The difference would be 3 tens, so we put a 3 in the tens place. We can also combine place values when the menu end has zeros. Remember, this is the menu end, and that's the subtrahend. When the menu end has zeros, we can combine place values. Let's estimate first. This is already at 400. We can use a compatible number for 274 as 275. 400 minus 275 is 125 for our estimate. 
when we do the subtraction 400 minus 274, we can't have 0 and take 4 away. So we would need to regroup from the tens place, but that's a 0. So we would have to regroup from the hundreds place. What we do is we combine place values and cross off the 400s and 0 tens. 40 tens became 39 tens. We're going to give that 110 to the ones place. Now we have 10 minus 4, which is 6, and we can either do 9 minus 7, which is 2, and 3 minus 2, which is 1, or we can combine the place values and look at it as 39 minus 27, which is 12. 126 is close to our estimate of 125, so our answer is reasonable. So let's see if we understand this a little bit more. With the same problem, if we regrouped the usual way, the minuend would still have a 3 in the hundreds place and a 9 in the tenths place. We would still have a 3 and a 9. The difference is we don't have to regroup twice. See? If we turn this into a 3 and gave 10 tens to the tens place, that would be a 10 tens, and we would still need to regroup and make it a 9 to give a 10 to the ones place. By combining place values, we save time and just turn 40 tens into 39 tens and give that extra 10 to the ones place. We can subtract faster. Combining place values makes it easier to subtract because we regroup less. We know we can combine place values when the digit in the minuend is less than the digit in the subtrahend. Here, we can do 8 minus 3, which is 5. But the 2 is less than the 9, so we know we can combine the place values and think 62 tens minus 59 tens. The difference would be 3 tens, and we wouldn't have any hundreds, would we? So the difference is 35. And we know we can combine the tens and ones place to subtract because this 4 is less than the 9. So we can think 24 ones minus 19 ones is equal to 5 ones. We don't have any tens, so we put a 0 there. Then we just do 600 minus 300 is 300. For this one, we can do 8 minus 3 is equal to 5, but we see that 2 tens is less than 9 tens, so we know we can combine the hundreds and tens place as 62 tens and 59 tens to get 3 tens. If we combine place values, we regroup less and can subtract faster. The table shows how many pieces of fruit were harvested from each type of tree. Let's take a look at the table. It says fruit harvest, tree type apple, pear, peach. There were 628 apples that were harvested, 732 pears, and 491 peaches. The question is, how many more pears were harvested than apples? Well, the words how many more is a clue to find a difference. So we know we need to subtract 732 pears minus 628 apples. This 2 is less than the 8, so we can combine the place values and think 32 ones minus 28 ones. That's 4 ones, and there's no tens, so we put a 0 in the tens place. Then we subtract the hundreds, 700 minus 600 is 100, so there were 100 four more pears than apples that were harvested. We make sure we put the word pears here so that everyone knows what we were counting. Now do you see the unnecessary information in the table? What information in this table was not needed? Well if you said how many peaches were picked, harvested, you're right because our question didn't even ask about peaches, did it? So that was the unnecessary information. 
So now you know how to combine place values to subtract faster and do less regrouping. Remember when you're trying to solve word problems to circle the important numbers and look for clue words like fewer or difference. And we know which place values to combine because we look for the numbers in the menu in that are less than the number in the subtrahend. And be careful of unnecessary information in word problems or in tables that you don't need. I hope you have a wonderful day. We're going to talk about problem solving and how we can draw a diagram to help us solve some problems in our next lesson. Bye.